Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lesson, we are going to understand history of React and what is React. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Akshay Kashyap and I am in the web development industry for 5 years. My aim is to provide a knowledge to those students who can't raise money to buy expensive courses or to join any expensive institute. But still, they want to learn something new. Anyway, let's focus on the topic. We are going to start a React course for beginners. So we will first understand history of React. React was created by Jordan Walke. I hope I have pronounced this name properly. He is a software engineer at Facebook. React was first developed on Facebook newsfeed in 2011 and later on for Instagram.com in 2012. Jordan was influenced by XHP, an HTML component framework for PHP. XHP allowed creating composite components. They introduced a syntax later in the React. In 2011, Jordan created FaxJS. FaxJS is an earlier prototype of React. In 2011, Facebook ads became hard to manage. Jordan worked on the prototype and created React. And finally, in 2013, React get open sourced. On this time, the popularity of React start begins. So many companies started adopting React, just like Netflix, the biggest company for paid video streaming services. Facebook Facebook was the place where React was created and it is actively used on Facebook website, Instagram and on WhatsApp. We have another big example, Yahoo. Yahoo is a mail client in React. So Yahoo is also using a React for their mail service. Not only a few companies are using React, but there are many companies who are using React and also thousands of interested. Now you have a better understanding of React history, so we will take a look at what is React. Before we start coding in the React application, we need to define what is React. In simple words, React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It is a UI component library, a React component created with React using JavaScript. This approach is called creating composable UIs. A component is a heart of React application. A component is a self-contained module that renders some output. Components are composable. A component might include one or more components in its output. A component in React is a self-contained functional block. Let's say you have a component date picker. This date picker component have a visual representation and a logic to pick a date which you have select. This type of component have both a visual representation and dynamic logic. The example is not limited for the date picker component, but you can also relate to the email input text box or an address or zip code component. But why we need for component? Component build off concept of Ajax request where you can call a server directly from a client side. This concept allowing components to be dynamically updated without the need for a page refresh. Components each have their own interfaces that can be make calls to the server and update their interfaces. Because components are independent, one component can refresh without affecting other components or UI as a whole. To maximize functionality and performance of newsfeed, Facebook used React. React was something called Virtual Dome. We will understand what is Virtual Dome in the next lesson. So we will just take an example to understand component. For example, if you have a form which might consist of a different interface element like input fields and buttons. Each element in the form can be written as a React component. In this approach, form is a higher level component of React. Using this approach can specify different functionality to different input fields. So in this approach, the form is a root component of your application. Right? I think this is enough for today. Otherwise, this will overwhelming for you. In the next lesson, we will understand more concept behind the React component and understand what is virtual dome. Before you move on to the next lecture, don't forget to answer the question specified in the comment. We will see you in the next lesson.